In this video, I want to show you how to create a page in Nishify. So a page and a blog post has many similarities except a page uh, does not appear in your as part of your blog and it does not have a visible date to it. So unlike a blog post, a page can be published at any time and it can be rearranged in your navigation, etc. So to create a page, go to content and click on pages. All right, and you probably see a sample page here that we have added by default and you will notice that the sample page cannot be deleted and that is normal the sample page uh, is just to make your site look uh, like it's not completely empty okay you can click on edit to edit it but you can't delete it you can however change the status to in, uh, hidden or a draft now let's click on add new to create a new page so very similar to a blog post, you can have your title. Um, some teams would support a subtitle or subheadline. So this is purely optional. So you can enter the page title here. Again, it's good practice to uh, capitalize your title so that it looks good. A subtitle is optional. And then of course, you can enter the content over here. And just like you would with a blog post, you can also enter pictures that you want to use. Okay. Let's enter this picture over here. Okay. And with the editor, you can resize that. And you can click on full screen to go full screen so that you have more space and less clutter. And you can go out of full screen. Okay. And you can add your content over here. You can also add videos and links. Okay, and now let's go and all the way to the bottom and click on save draft. Okay, so it's important that uh, you save the page first. Okay, uh, don't make the mistake of, of spending so much time writing the content and then you leave your PC and uh, your Nishify site could automatically time out or, or log you out automatically and you lose the content. So save as a draft first and then you get the page slug. And again here you can modify the page slug to whatever you want. By default we follow exactly the title. Okay, But you can change this to something that is more search engine optimized. Alright, now you'll notice that for page um, there is no categories for page. There is, however, page visibility, all right? So you can select the visibility as visible or hidden. Now, when you, select a, when you set the page to hidden, what this means is that you must type in the URL manually to access the page. It still exists on your site. It just does not appear anywhere on your site. So a hidden page is very useful. For example, if you want to create a download page uh, to give something to your subscribers or if you have any other reason to create a hidden page coming soon or uh, a page for your uh, uh, partners or whatever. Uh, but in most cases, you probably want to set the pages visible. And you can select a featured image for your page as well. And just like a blog post, a featured image does not have to be something that you use in your actual content okay the featured image is more for social media and also in certain themes the featured image will be displayed uh, in thumbnail format for when displaying all your blog posts okay now let's go to the bottom and click on save changes okay so you see the featured image over here all right next comes of course the seo scoring so you need to enter uh, the keyword that you want to rank for and then you can click on save changes and it will give you an SEO score and of course you can go ahead and uh, follow this short checklist to make sure that your SEO score is at least 80% okay and that will give you a much higher chance of ranking in search engines especially in Google now, for the options here, which I will explain in a different video, uh, you can do more advanced search engine optimization for your page. You can also choose to do your own social optimization by creating a different title, content, description. Okay, I will explain this in a separate video. 
you can choose to disable ads on this page so um, the ad options in Nishify will evolve over time but right now we have Google AdSense ads and by default it will show at certain locations on every single page and blog post so you can disable that if you want to all right and of course if you want to delete the page you can just click on delete here okay now let's click on go back to pages all right so here you have a list of pages and again you see the one that i just created can be deleted but the default sample page cannot be deleted i can however click on it and edit it and change the visibility to hidden if i want to all right so that's how easy it is to create static content pages in your Nishify store.